may it be said of us when we leave this place that we have come to turn the world upside down for you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Perhaps we need to set things a bit in context as we prayed about turning the world upside down. This map of the world's religions and missions is now outdated. See, the pink shading shows where the Christians are, but that's where they were. And the darker shading shows where the non-Christians are. If we were to remake this map at the end of the 20th century, we would shade the pink along here and shade the other colors and the heathen colors here. That there should be in our own time such a radical shift in the center of gravity, no one saw it coming. I was a student of French studies in the in the heyday of the of the 60s, you know, student demonstrations and agitations, and I was kind of part of that culture. What I think happened to me really was a sudden realization that living my life, building, constructing my life. Uh, without any reference to the transcendent, uh, in fact, was, was a flawed, was a flawed um, outlook. If the church of the next century will be deeply affected and shaped by what will have happened in the minds and lives and testimony of Christians where the Christians now are, then, question arises. What is the nature of our Christianity? It was in the summer, one in the summer of 70. I come to a point in my life. I was I had done well academically. My, was, everything was going for me, as we say in modern language. And yet, this, 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 this pit of, of futility within, which, which was, they caused me to, to begin to review my life. Suddenly, it occurred to me, I, I come to a dead end. And I think I remember saying something to this effect. God, I'm tired. Take my life. Now, I didn't pray. I didn't, I didn't know what God I was talking to. Instead, what happened was, I didn't fall. I literally crumpled under the shower. I didn't turn on the tap. Yet I felt a drop on my, my foot. This was a tear. I didn't realize that. Take my life, I said. Then somehow, I felt flooding into me a new, a, a newness of life. Quickly got up, had my shower, went back to my, my apartment room. And I'd never done this ever before. I spent half of that night in prayer. I, I wish to define myself as a Christian, as an African Christian. No, because a European has told me so. Indeed, my exposure to Europe made me atheist. In becoming Christian, 33 years ago, in France, on my own, under the shower, in the summer break, on the campus of University of Bordeaux, I discovered I was becoming African again. I was recovering my sense of the spirituality of life. I was recovering my sense of the nearness of the living God. I was, re I was recovering my African sense of the wholeness of life. I find in becoming Christian, I'm being more African than I think I was. I'm being more who I am 